Loft 100 Studios, The Big Biz Show, and our affiliates and our hosts are not registered investment advisors or broker dealers. Our show hosts make no commitment that the purchase of securities of companies profiled or otherwise mentioned in our programming are suitable or advisable for any person or that an investment in such securities will be profitable in general. Given the nature of the company's profile and the lack of an active trading market for the securities, investing is highly speculative and carries a certain high degree of risk. We profile selected publicly traded and privately held companies on our program. Most of these companies that we profile have provided compensation to Loft 100 Studios and its hosts for the profile coverage. From time to time, we sell shares of the companies profiled in the open market that we receive as compensation for coverage of client companies. But never sell stocks if we are speaking about interviewing or covering a public company who has paid compensation. Specific questions on compensation can be obtained by contacting producer at salientgroup.com. Listeners should verify all claims and do their own due diligence before investing in any securities mentioned on this program. Investing in securities is speculative and carries a high degree of risk. We encourage our investors to invest carefully and read the investor information available at the websites on the Securities and Exchange Commission at sec.gov and or the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority FINRA at www.finra.org. From the Loft 100 Studios in sunny San Diego, California. 110 million broadcast homes strong. Thanks to Biz TV and American Life Network and Bloomberg Television. Radio across the country thanks to iHeartRadio, Biz Talk Radio Network, and internationally on radio. That's right, we're TV and radio at the same time. Thanks to American Forces Radio Network in 175 countries and all the ships at sea. Big Biz Show here. Sully here. Costa there as we continue. And of course, our executive producer, Greg Todorov, and the DTT. There you go, huh? How do you like that? Tee, tee, tee. I'm never going to get over that. I'm never going to get over that uh, that disclaimer that we have. It's the best. That, that, that no, Jared Coleman and team just put together the uh, Emmy Award. Grammy, Genius. Uh, whammy? Grammy? Grammy? Something. Emmy. Yeah. Emmy, yeah. yeah. There he is. There's Oscar. There. Yeah. He's uh, just sobering up from a, from a long night. <laughs> um, what's interesting, this is not something to joke about, but we're expecting a hurricane here. We in are. Yeah. That's what they're saying. On Sunday, Monday. Hillary's making her way up the, uh, I'll be darned, western seaboard. Yes, you'll be showered with pantsuits. <laughs> all, the, all the way through. Uh, best way boom! to... Boom! Oh, wow. If you want to if, if you want to get a hold of her to yeah. uh, complain about me, yeah. best, best uh, method is email. <laughs> email. <laughs> sorry. See what I got, you did there. I got, I'm go, sorry. Go to your MySpace page. One of my one of my new favorite guests in the whole wide world, um, who we met here a couple weeks ago, and I'm not kidding because the guy just resonated with me personally, resonated with the audience personally, and he's in the diamond business. So I got a guy. Yep. Uh, Jay Gardina is the CEO of of uh, Adamus One stock symbol J E W L J E W L. I'll put that on our website at BigBizShow.com, and I'll also put it out to our social media followers at Sully Speaks Money. Hey, Jay, for the people that didn't see you last time, and we got such a such an overwhelming response via email and so on and so forth, take us through from the top, just for, just as if you know, you're in a bar in between, uh, in between flights. Someone says, what do you guys do? Give us that elevator pitch real quick. I mean, everybody loves diamonds. We make diamonds. You know, we, it's, we be looking at the game. We've had grown diamonds. We consider ourselves a leader in the industry from a technology standpoint. We own all the patents. Um, our processes are, are, are bar none, and we make great diamonds. I mean, it's very simple. You know, we're eco-friendly, we're socio-friendly, we don't have any of the attributes of the mining diamond industry, um, and we don't often try to compare ourselves to it, because we look at it as an enhancement, we're bringing more people into the fold that traditionally might not have never bought a diamond for a handful of reasons, whether it's, it's not eco-friendly from the mining standpoint or, you know, the, the blood diamond aspect of it. So we, we're a great alternative, and we're a, a better value prop as well. Jay, and by the way, your opener, you might have to worry about the opener and the hurricane coming because that's, yeah. that's going to be a big one. We're 45 miles an hour right now. You're right. Hey, Jay, I got a question for you. We're talking about single crystal, high quality, lab grown diamonds. My, my notes that you gave me last time here. Um, the long story short of it is, you can't really tell the difference between a lab grown diamond. All the research I'm looking, I mean, there's only a few people in the universe that can actually tell the difference between a lab grown diamond and a, and a carbon based diamond. Talk about the reasons why. 
hundred percent. I mean, we make an actual diamond, chemically, physically, optically, identical to a mine diamond. The only difference is one comes out of the earth, one comes out of the safe environment. We call it a laboratory. So, I mean, we have the same grading certification. So we go through GIA and IGI, just like mine diamonds, the four seeds, which everybody kind of started with, because I think that was beat to death in all the commercials that De Beers did, which was great to educate the consumer. So we have the same grading criteria that, that mine diamonds do. So we actually make a true diamond. I mean, we just spent almost a year in testing with Oak Ridge Laboratories on our diamonds, because obviously we know that diamonds aren't only the hardest substance on earth, they're also the number one thermal conductor. So for semiconductors in the semiconductor industry, lab-grown diamonds are really gonna be a benefit. I mean, our test right now, we're almost 50 times more thermal conductivity than, than silicone, which is ridiculous, and over five times the like band gap energy. Not like I know what any of that means, it's way over my head, but I can regurgitate it pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not a scientist. I sit down with my science team, I'm like, I, I eat red crayon. <laughs> I mean, I don't know you, anything. You don't, need to, you don't need to know why, just steer the ship over there. Right. Hey, hey, Jay, I understand you guys are coming out with a jewelry line. Yeah, we're, we're launching our jewelry line. We're called, it's El Jolie, which happens to be my three-year-old daughter's name as Fantastic. well. Fantastic. Uh, she means I mean, she's pretty in French. We launched our high-end luxury jewelry line. Um, hopefully, we're, we're looking towards the latter part of this year, possibly depending on the selling season beginning of next year. We've done with all the designs. We've completed our packaging designs as well. And now we're going into full-born production. Where do we send the media kit to for advertising sales? Because we want to make you a title sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Now, look, diamonds. Everybody loves diamonds. I everybody loves diamonds. Especially, dog especially dog when you're in the doghouse. Right? Yeah, yeah. especially, yeah. Uh, as Greg says, especially when you're in the doghouse. And we are in the doghouse a lot over here. Hey, Jay. Like we give as parting gifts. You know, every industry outside of this one is always somewhat controversial for me. Sure. Right? Is it a passion play for or against? And the diamond industry, everybody loves diamonds. Sure. I mean, everywhere you go, they're like, oh, you have diamonds? I, I like yesterday, I had a meeting with the LVMH people. And I pulled out, you know, here's a bunch of our line that we're doing. And all the tables around us at the restaurant, every girl's like, uh, can we look at those? I mean, yeah, it's great. Exactly. I love it. Jay, is there right now somebody in South Africa who's sending a couple of guys with no necks yeah. to come talk to you? <laughs> I mean, as far as the Black helicopters yeah. outside the office. Yeah. <laughs> as far as the competition is concerned, if, if I was in the, the regular diamond business, I'd be a little wary of what you're doing. Sure, this is why ammo wing comes in play. <laughs> 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 That's right. Remember stock symbol AMMO. Remember uh, you like you got to we go hand in hand. You got to find out how you marriage your sister company. I go, hey, we need protection. Uh, you know, and we we position ourselves. Maybe you know, five eight years ago, that was a, a real threat, and people were worried about us. The category of submerging, but now we look at the category. Over fifty percent of diamond sales in America are lab grown, mm -hmm. so everyone's really harnessing that. And look, there's always a market for mine diamonds. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I wear mine diamonds as well. I've had them for years, obviously, because lab grown wasn't available at the time. So there's always a marketplace for that. And there's purists that love it. You know, we try to look for bringing people that traditionally, like I said, went by mine diamonds that want to buy a diamond. So now they'll come to the lab grown market. And that's really what we push for. I don't want a competition. I'm not head to head with it. That's a battle I can never win. I, I, and, I, and I think uh, I think it's important to talk about proprietary advantage because you guys have a bit of a proprietary advantage just because you're first to market often in some of these things. Talk about that piece of it. You know, we, we look at the, the asset package that we bought was inclusive of uh, 36 patents, 28 domestic, eight international, and they're the foundation, foundational patents for, for CBD process to make lab-grown diamonds, which is the, the, the pretty much the, the bulk of lab-grown diamonds are coming by CBD in the world right now. Um, so we consider ourselves to be the, the original lab-grown diamond company. And this is, you gotta realize, this, these patents go back to the early 1990s with Dr. Linares when he figured out, hey, look, I think I can take carbon-rich gas and turn it into a diamond. Genius. Wow. Um, and that kind of was a, the, the proponent that really propelled the whole industry to what it is today. Hey, Jay, are there any other companies that are selling diamonds that call you guys as an OEM or to, 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 for you to offer OEM or offer private label or offer offer distribution? Sure. I mean, we look at, I mean, obviously we're still in our infancy stage. So as we grow and, and get our, our, our skis under us, so to speak, we look at definitely we'll do blanks for other groups. You know, a dominant one is, as a parent company will always be that here's we're pushing the wholesale market. You know, we're working with brick and mortar and direct retailers and designers. It's always a goal of ours. You know, to sign up some of the majors, whether it's Signet, Blue Nile, LVMH, et cetera, to have them and, and supply them and furnish them with, with wholesale diamonds. 
Hey, and Jay we're working because we have the ability coming up to where we can manufacture, manufacture specific dimensions of diamonds. Well, that's a whole new model. In their product. See, that's see, and that's that's where that's where you licensing your technology, or at least having them hire you for it, comes in. Stay right there. I'm going to talk to you about the industry and about growth in this industry, uh, and what's causing your 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 precipitous popularity. I think it's this show personally. Yeah. The fact that we all can be brothers. In fact, he looks. He does look a lot like every friend we have. But by the way, pretty sure he's here in San Diego. It's the Big Biz Show. We're talking to Jay Gardena, CEO of Adamus. Nailed it. Stock symbol J E W L. J E W L. I'm gonna put this out to our hundred thousand followers on social media. Our three million active views. Also at BigBizShow.com. Stand by. We got much more coming up.